Why do you have to be born again? Well, we find out why, because there's two more sons that we're going to look at. Two more sons. One of them is the son of God, known as Adam. I say, wait a minute, Adam, son of God? If you go to Luke chapter 3 and verse 38, Luke 3 gives the genealogies going from Jesus all the way back to Adam, and it says, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. And Luke, it called Adam the son of God. Okay? But there's something a little different about this Adam than God's other son, Jesus Christ. Adam and Jesus. Now, who came first on earth? Well, Adam came in the flesh, right? Jesus was born way later, wasn't he? Okay, now what, what does Adam and Jesus have to do with anything? Well, in every, every one of these examples, not, it was the older one that was kind of the bad one, the younger one that was a good one. Jason would love this if he was here today. Uh, but uh, They're at their grandpa's church today. But, and also... The natural, okay, was the bad one, and the spiritual was the good one. And Adam, is he's this natural son of God. He was a creation of God. Something that God made, he formed from the dust of the ground. God gave him life. But look at what 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 21 says. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 21 so which brother are you? Are you of Cain or are you of Abel? Are, are you one that's trying to work your way into heaven? Or are you one who's put your faith and trust in Christ? Are you of Ishmael? Are you thinking you're going to get into heaven because of who your family is? Or are you of Isaac? You're, you're going to heaven because you've accepted Jesus Christ as a Savior. Or now are you of Adam? Are you of Jesus? And look what it says in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 21. It says, For since by man came death... Uh, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the firstfruits, after they that are Christ that is coming. Then cometh the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, for he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. So right here we see a comparison. Uh, we see Adam. We see Jesus. And then jump down to verse 45. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. How be it? That was not first, which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and after that which is spiritual. Natural comes first. Spiritual comes later. Every time. And does anybody know what Adam, the name Adam means? It means earthy. Okay? He was made of the dust of the ground. Verse 47, the first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man, that's talking about Adam. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As in the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. Okay? As the, all of us in here today... We have some Adam in us, don't we? We were all born of Adam. We are all earthy. We are all sinful like Adam. We are all dying like Adam eventually died. We're sinners. We've fallen like Adam. We all have Adam in us. We all descended from Adam. Okay? As, and so as in the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And as in the heavenly, such are they that are heavenly. Adam was that earthy seed. Jesus Christ was that heavenly seed. And verse 49, And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption put on incorruption. Flesh and blood. There are people today, another big religion, probably one of the biggest ones in America today, is what I would call humanism. People who think they're going to go to heaven just because they're them. Because they're, you're you. Because you're a human. And you know, as a human, boy, you need to do whatever you want. You need to follow your heart. Whatever you want to be, whatever you want to do, that's what you ought to do. 
We create our own heaven. We create our own hell. We created God in our mind. We are God. That's what people will try to teach. That's humanism right there, that basically man is God. But we see in the Bible, there's that which is earthy, but then there's also that which is heavenly, that which is spiritual. And every one of us in here today, we all bear the image of the earthy. We all look like the earthy. I can tell you all are human beings just from looking at you. And I can tell all of you are sinners just from looking at you. And I can tell that all of you are going to die one of these days because you're sinners, because you're human. And you, in this condition, are not going to get into heaven. Flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. So how are we going to get into heaven? You must be born again. Being born of man, being born of this earth will do nothing for you. Y'all are great people. I love you. But just being you is not good enough. Flesh and blood cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. You must be born again. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. And except ye be born of water. What's what? Water birth. The natural birth. You have to be born again. You have to be a human first. You've got to come into this world. Except you be born of water and of the Spirit. Amen. You cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And just because you are a person today, just because you are a human, I don't care how good you are. I don't care what line of people you're from. I don't care that you are a human and that you're created in the image of God. You also bear the image of the earthy. You are sinful. You deserve to die, die and go to hell. We all do because we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. And if you're going to go to heaven today, you must be born again. Yeah.